What's up everyone? This is Ryan and today we're going to be checking out the mech update for the uh, No Man's Sky. And it's the Mimitar. Minotaur. Um, I tried to record this video a little bit earlier but I was having some issues so it wasn't capturing my video so I had to remake it. So uh, everything's already completed right now so I'm just going to show you guys where to purchase everything. Uh, you go over here to the Exocraft Research Guy on the Space Anomaly. And it costs about a thousand uh, nanites to unlock all of these um, all of these modules for the Minotaur. And you start off with these two and this one, and you have to buy the radar upgrade, the weapons and the mining laser, and then this uh, reducing fuel burn. Uh, it's like a booster upgrade. Um, overall, my impressions are uh, it's okay. It's not very maneuverable. Like, it's not very quick, um, which I would prefer it to be quicker, personally. Um, and then for uh, to unlock the actual Mimnitar, you come over to the construction side, and this one costs four. Uh, four. Uh, salvage data and this one I believe costs 10 for the Min Minotaur and then uh, if you want any other ones. I personally hadn't used any um, any Exos craft um, until this update so uh, this was my first time playing around with the the Exocrafts and overall it's okay um, like I said but uh, where are we headquarters? Uh, it did take me a while to find everything uh, for all the Exocraft upgrades, um, but it wasn't that difficult. I think the um, most of the stuff you could buy and then some of the stuff you just had to run around and create. Um, but overall, it was pretty easy to do everything and not all that time consuming. Um, the The only reason I probably wouldn't use this Exocraft is it would take so long to maneuver all the way to somewhere where I would actually want to use it. Uh, so unless I built a base right near like some outpost or something, I wouldn't have a big use for it. Now what I didn't try is to warp like using the base warps uh, with it um, but we're gonna, I'm gonna hop into the exosuit right now and try it out so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. And my home base is on an extreme sentinel planet, so we should be able to, uh, to get some, some action here. I mean, it looks pretty cool. And the weapon, so that's the mining laser. Let's see, it's pretty quick. So for for collecting resources, yeah, this thing might be might be the way to go for collecting resources. Now I've never used any of the other craft, so I don't know. And this is the cannon. As you can see, it's 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 all right. It's kind of hard to aim uh, when they're maneuverable. So we should we should have some more arriving pretty soon, and we'll check it out. See, like when they're up close like this, uh, they're a little hard to hard to see. Let's go ahead and refill. And it takes carbon to refill, which is pretty sweet. And ammonia. I'm trying to refill our carbon. So yeah, you need a lot of carbon with these bad boys. Let's see how high we can get our Sentinel rating to. See what I mean? It's kind of hard to aim. 
And that could just be me. I've, I've never, I'm on a permadeath uh, playthrough right now, so I've never had anything this, uh, this high. A sentinel walker. Uh-oh. <laughs> I wish I had some auto cannons on my, uh, on my base to help me out. Uh-oh, shit. <laughs> Armor plating, five of five. Come on, come on. Oh, guys, guys, that that didn't go well. <laughs> there and there goes my permadeath um, playthrough. Oh, so sad, so sad. Well, anyway, you get a feel for how it handles, and um, yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the playthrough, and oh, no more permadeath. That. That was that was my bad. I should have hopped out of this the uh, the thing and flown away. That's painful. Um, yeah, so that's it, guys. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Take care.